In a narrative of captivity, Mary Rowlandson writes about her experience of being held captive by the Algonquin Indians and the death of her son. She makes many biblical references throughout the whole writing. Some might even go as far to say it comes close to a sermon rather than just a narrative. Rowlandson's not only writing about her time in captivity, but she also expresses her faith-based beliefs and her harsh feelings toward the Native Americans that she soon refers to as savages. She also connects her ordeal to the trials of Job in the Old Testament. It's just one of the many ways Rowlandson brings in biblical reference to her narrative. She represents her faith in the Puritans as the good guys, unlike the Indians who had her captive. A common idea through the whole narrative is Rowlandson, Rowlandson's faith and how it got her through that whole experience. So that really is the big picture throughout. Her experience was tragic, but her faith was with her, was with her through the whole way.